from yeah, Thank you very much, uh, Les um, It's no secret I was never a member of a local authority, so um, I'm speaking with respect to my um, experience in this house. Uh, I listened to the presentations downstairs in my office, and I found myself asking the question, do we really know what we do in this house, in the houses of the Oireachtas, to local authorities? In the last couple of years, we have stripped county councillors of memberships of boards. We have stripped them off the policing uh, uh, and security in their local areas. We have removed them from university uh, boards. We have 520 housing agencies, each with a chief executive officer and I assume a chief financial officer. You talk about funding to uh, cover the cost of county councillors, get rid of the housing agencies and pay the county councillors. What happened to the councils who used to build houses? the finest houses in the country. I remember my father telling me that the clerk who works in Galway when they were building council houses in Merview, if there were knots in the timber, he would send the timber back because it wasn't of a quality that was, was required. I find myself wondering, and we have a number of former ministers here, uh, I find myself wondering when ministers bring legislation into this house or into the Doyle, is it genuinely their views that are being brought in, or is it something a civil servant put together? We spent two and a half years here on the Air Navigation and Transport Bill before eventually the Minister would crack and said, actually, the legislation was written by an outside authority. Actually, it was written by the authority. We're trying to confine it to yeah, Okay, I, I'm trying to come to the end. It was written by the authority we were trying to regulate. They wrote their own legislation. So I'm asking you today, you've been <coughs> ministers. You bring legislation in. The only minister that ever uh, liaised with me on uh, legislation for local authorities was John Paul. And John Paul was very accommodating at the end of the day, so he was, uh, albeit with both arms tied behind his back. <laughs> but we shouldn't, as elected members here, I'm not a party guy, you guys are. You frequently bring legislation which limits the uh, influence your members have at local level. You strip them of their, their powers. And at the end of the day, my colleagues in here are forced through the whip system to row in behind a minister who may not necessarily believe the legislation that he or she is bringing forward. We saw it yesterday. We saw it yesterday. A policing uh, community bill voted down yesterday, or sorry, not a bill, a motion, voted down yesterday. And I know from my colleagues they didn't want to do that. So I'll leave it at that.